today we are going to learn properties of regular hexagon seven hexagon what is mean by regular hexagon regular means all sides are equal and all angles are also equal that is the sides these all sides are equal then all interior angles that is these angles are interior angles these all interior angles are equal that type of hexagon is called regular hexagon regular means all sides equal then uh, angle also equal that type of hexagon is regular hexagon then here we are going to learn the properties of regular hexagon for that first we can check the angles angle that sum of interior angles of this regular hexagon then we know the uh, formula what is the formula to find sum of interior angles of a polygon the formula to find sum of interior angles of a polygon what is the formula the formula is n minus 2 times 180 so formula is the sum of interior angles of a polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180 here this n represent number of side or number of angles in this case now how many sides are there there are six sides are there that is the place of n we can write six that is we can write this expression like this six minus two times 180 then what is the answer 720 that is the angle the sum of these interior angles of this regular hexagon is equal to 720 degree then next we are going to find each angle each interior angle that is we are going to find this angle these angles then we know is a regular hexagon regular hexagon case all these six angles are equal then which way we can find each angle because we know these all angles are equal to find each angle divided by six this total divided by six that means each interior angle is equal to 720 divided by 6 that is 120 that means this angle each of this angle is equal to 120 degree okay then next here this line you can check this line here i join this vertex and this vertex okay that is opposite vertex then in this case this line divide this one into two equal parts the other thing then you can check this part this part is a mirror image of this part okay that means this line this line act as a one mirror that means this line is the line of symmetry that is this line is the line of symmetry that means this one one part is a mirror image of the other part that means in that case these angles are also equal that is this angle and this angle these two angles are equal same way we can say that this angle and this angle equal that means this line divide this angle into two equal angles okay then the same way we can draw another line of symmetry is the another line of symmetry then the next line of symmetry is the another line of symmetry okay this way we can draw line of symmetries okay then first i am going to take this line of symmetry okay this line of symmetry divide this hexagon into you we know that one is a two portion that the one portion is a mirror image of the other portion we know these angles are equal that means these two angles are equal the next one we know this total angle this total angle is 120 then these two angles are equal then what is these two angles this total is 120 then which way we can find this each angle that is 120 divided by 2 that means each angle we will get 60 degree okay now we got this angle is 60 degree then consider this triangle okay in this triangle the same way we can we, we will get this angle is equal to 60 degree why this angle is 60 degree you can take this is a line of you know this one is the line of symmetry the same way we can prove these two angles is equal to 60 degree that is this angle is 60 degree then here we are going to apply angle sum property that is we know in triangle sum of interior angle is equal to 180 degree 
we know these two angles these two angle 60 degree 60 degree then to which way we can find the third angle that is 180 minus these angles that is 180 minus 120 what is 180 minus 120 you will get this angle 60 degree okay now you can check these three angles these three angles are equal and I say 60 degree the what, what is the name of this type of triangle the name that is a equilateral triangle that means this triangle is equilateral triangle that means the same way we can prove this triangle is a equilateral triangle and these all triangles are which type of triangle equilateral triangles okay then next property consider this quadrilateral in this quadrilateral case i'm going to extend these sides i'm going to extend these sides these sides these sides okay okay then now you can check now i'm going to here i'm going to apply the properties of parallel lines we know if two lines case the sum of sum of co interior angle is equal to 180 degree co interior angle angles means c angles if sum of c angles or co interior angle is equal to 180 degree then we can say that that two lines are parallel okay that property i am going to take here okay in this case the, we are going to take these two lines okay this one is the transverse is the cutting line okay then this we can take the co interior angles co interior angles means this is the co interior angles that is c angles that is c angles or co interior angles then we can check what is the sum of these two angles what is the, what is this angle we know this angle is 120 degree then what about this angle this angle is 60 degree then what is sum of these two angles 120 plus 60 we will get 180 degree that means sum of these two angles we got sum of this co interior angle is equal to 180 degree that means these two lines are parallel okay the same way we can take these two lines in these two line case can take this one as the transverse that is the cutting line okay then this case here also we can check co interior angle we know this ang this case co interior angle means this is the c angle okay co interior angle then here this angle what about this angle this angle is 60 degree then what is this angle this angle is 120 degree the what is the sum is equal to 120 plus 60 we will get 180 degree that means this we, here also we got sum of co interior angle is equal to 180 degree that means these two lines are parallel clear that means we got now here we got the opposite lines are parallel then what is the name of this this quadrilateral if opposite sides are parallel then what is the name or name of that quadrilateral is a parallelogram if in one quadrilateral if opposite sides are parallel then we can say that that what is the name of that quadrilateral that is a parallelogram here this opposite these two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel then this one is the parallelogram okay here this parallelogram is another one kind of parallelogram because here we know these all sides are also equal then it becomes rhombus okay rhombus means is a one type parallelogram is a parallelogram rhombus means is a parallelogram with all sides are equal because here all sides are equal then we can say that this one is like this figure name we can take is a rhombus okay because it's a parallelogram with all sides are equal that is this one is the rhombus okay but mainly we are going to apply which property to solve vector questions in other case we are mainly using parallelogram property that means we can take it as a which one parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel because we need that property okay say parallel we got this one is a parallelogram why this one is a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel that type of correlate is called parallelogram then here in this case all sides are equal that's why is called which one is a rhombus rhombus means is a one type of parallelogram with all sides are equal okay then next one this way we can we will get uh, other parallelograms is the one parallelogram we can check the other parallelograms is the another parallelogram is the another one the next is the another parallelogram is another one okay all these are 
palograms okay then next property okay then in this case here i am going to prove these opposite sides are parallel for that i am going to take these two opposite sides we are going to take we are going to prove these opposite sides are parallel for that we can take these two lines okay then i am going to join this vertex and this vertex like this okay now here in this case this angle what about this angle that is these two angles we know this angle is 60 degree here also we are going to here we know is the two lines this one is the transversal that is the cutting line okay here i'm not extending this line okay that is that these two, these two lines then this one is the cutting line that is what is the name of this line is the transversal okay then in this case we are going to apply the parallelogram property which property here we are going to apply that is the set angle property set angles means alternate interior angles that is in two in two lines case the if alternate interior angles are equal then we can say that that two lines are parallel if alternate interior angles are equal then in that case that two lines are parallel that means this case this is the two alternate interior angles you can check what about this angle we know this angle is 60 degree then what about this angle this angle also 60 degree because in previous part we we got this one this angle is 60 degree because this line divided into which one divide this angle into two equal two equal uh, part okay that is two equal angles that is this angle this total is 120 each angle is 60 degree that is this angle is 60 the same way this angle is also 60 that means we got alternate interior angles is equal to 60 degree that means these two angles are equal that means these two lines are parallel that means opposite sides are in regular hexagon case if you take the regular hexagon case opposite sides are parallel you can show these two case these two opposite sides case these two opposite case the similar way we can show just join which one the opposite vertices then we will get which one then say apply the same and property alternate interior angle property then we will get that opposite sides are parallel okay that is in regular hexagon case the opposite opposite sides are parallel is a regular regular means its opposite sides are parallel and equal also okay that is the properties of regular hexagon thank you